Alrighty. Um, acid plus acid problems. Um, for it to be an acid plus an acid problem, we have to have one acid, and we have to have another acid, and we have to be combining them. Um, so it's not a reaction that's happening here, uh, but we do have HCl. There's one acid, underlining everything that's about it. I'm going to color code for you. Um, and we also have perchloric acid. That's another acid. Um, so we have these two acids being added together. It's an acid plus acid problem. There's no reaction. I don't need to write one. What I need to realize that's happening is each acid is bringing some hydrogen to the table. Right? Hydrogen is what we're measuring when we're measuring pH, hydrogen ions. So this acid brings some H+, plus, this acid brings some H+, plus, and those mix. And now, since we've added these two acids, we have this new total solution um, with a new H plus concentration. Um, sometimes the two acids end up diluting each other a little bit. Um, but what matters is that we find out how much H plus each acid is bringing with it before we can find the pH of this total solution. Um, so for each acid, uh, I want to do three steps. Okay, so those three steps in general will be, first, we want to find the moles of H plus, moles, not molarity, find the moles of H plus uh, that each acid provides. See how much each one brings to the table. And after we find the moles that each acid brings to the table, we will add up the total moles of H plus. That's my first step, so let's do that step together. Um, for HCl, again, my goal is to get to moles, so I have molarity. For HCl, it might make sense to use the molarity formula. I have my molarity, I'm looking for my moles. Make sure you're using liters, not milliliters, that's why I'm using 0.1. So I do 0.4 times my 0.1, my moles are 0.04. But again, as I always say, go back and say moles of what? Well, this was the molarity of my HCl, so this is the moles of my HCl. Because of a one-to-one -one ratio for the acid, all the strong acids are one-to-one, -one, we know that this is also equal to our moles of H+. Okay, that would be sufficient for showing the work here. Um, for perchloric acid, they don't give me moles and molarity, anything like that. They give me grams. So the fastest way to get to moles, grams equals moles times the molecular weight of perchloric, which is 100.5. Those moles that I found, since I used the grams of HClO4, will be the moles of HClO4. Um, 2 divided by 100.5 is 0.0199, or 0.02 is fine. Um, again, because of a 1 to 1 ratio, those are equal to my moles of H+. Okay, so uh, before when we talked about the 1 to 1 ratios, I always did those with molarity. You can do 1 to 1 ratios with moles as well, and since we're trying to get to moles of H+, that's my preferred way of doing it. Okay, I have my moles of each, H+, plus, and I'm going to add those together. So 0.04 plus my 0.0199 gets me my total moles to be, if I round it, frankly, it's going to be 0.06. Okay, I've done my first step. I found the moles of H plus for each. Now, for my next step. So I'm going to leave the last part of my work here just so we remember that this is my total moles of my H+. My next step in solving this problem is to find the concentration of H+, the molarity of H+, using, and I'm underlining it, total volume. So each acid brought some H+, to the table. Each acid might also bring some liquid, some volume to the table. This problem actually, there's the volume that HCl brings. Two grams, that doesn't tell me a volume. So the perchloric acid isn't providing any volume whatsoever. So finding
finding molarity, if we want the total H plus molarity, which we do, we want to use the total H plus moles over the total volume of the two acids. So my total H plus mol moles we, we found before, 0.06. My total volume, normally, if, if, if this was 100 milliliters and this was 200 milliliters, if it said 200, we'd have 100 and 200, we'd add them together and we'd use 300, but turned into liters. Here we have 100. Here, I'm going to find the total volume off to the side. Here we have zero, because again, there's no volume mentioned. So my total volume is 100 ml. In the try problem, you'll see they both have milliliters provided, so you'd actually add those numbers together. Um, and then turn it into liters to plug it in. And we get 0.6 as my H plus molarity. Then step three is going to be to find the answer. So in this case, what they want is pH. How do I find pH? By taking the negative log of my H plus molarity. So I'm going to take the negative log of this 0.6 and get 0.22. And that's my answer. So again, total H plus moles over total volume.